So hello everyone and welcome back to STW Sport. I'm host Samuel Wright, joined by Rotherham United fan Kieran Smith. And Kieran, the season's going very well for Rotherham so far in Skybet League One, top of the league, cruising really, a 5-0 win in the last game against Doncaster. How are you finding it so far? A dream. It's it's been one of them seasons where um pre-season I was confident we were gonna have a good season. But you are, most fans are with any club, you know, you want to go into the season and have a good season. And if you beat some local teams heavily, you, mm-hmm. you start to get a little bit excited. And then you maybe win your first game and then you're even more excited. But the thing with us is we've been consistent. We've been really, really consistent. Um, we had the 21 match unbeaten run. I mean, not really the norm to go 21 ga- games unbeaten and I think we won we won 15 of those uh, so we've been very consistent but if you look around the squad as well Paul Warren has changed the lineup numerous occasions it's not just a consistent 11 and if we get injuries it's a massive problem what we're going to do um, because that can be leveled at some teams who are near the top that you know you argue that if they lose one or two good players, the, the season could start to fall apart. But with us, Paul Warren has changed, you know, personnel within the team throughout the season, um, rested certain players, rested big players in league games, and, and we've still managed to, to beat teams, and not just beat teams. The press that we put on teams is, uh, you know, I think a lot of championship teams will struggle with that. Um, with the level of fitness we've got, and we just blow teams away. We really do. And um, that press in getting the ball back allows us to then get the ball. And everyone says we're a lump it up team, but we can play some decent stuff as well. Um, but yeah, not many teams. When Rotherham United are on it in League One, not many teams can live with us. And it's a pleasure to watch uh, at the moment. Yeah, it's been a very good season so far, as mentioned. Uh, obviously, uh, Kieran, looking at other teams in the division, you've got lots of Wigan, of course, who are also in the automatics in second. Uh, Sunderland, MK Dons, Wickham and Oxford all making up the playoffs. Uh, which team have you been up against, though, has impressed you the most this season? I think when I've been to games and, you know, you look at certain teams who are expected to do well, your Sunderland, your Wigan, I think... Only out of the top sort of, certainly not your Sunderland, your Plymouth, uh, your MK Dons, none of those. Um, I think we we were more than a match and, and better than them. Um, it, it, it might surprise you, but I think Accrington are, are one of the teams that really, and we play them tomorrow as well, are the ones that really... I felt matched us for the press, matched us for the fitness um, and desire. And I think desire goes a long way. If you put Accrington's desire into Sunderland's team, they would be top of the league. Um, I, 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 you know, that's just my opinion. But Accrington are a team that has impressed me. Yeah, yeah in terms of the Accrington game tomorrow, Kieran, um, any score predictions from that? Obviously, they did beat you 1-0 on Boxing Day, I believe. But... Uh, what are your thoughts going into tomorrow's game, especially with it being at the New York Stadium? Are you fancying yourselves to get the win? Yeah, I'm going to contradict what I've just said now. I just said Accrington are the, one of the teams that has impressed me. But after going to Doncaster on Tuesday night and watching us absolutely blow them away, like it were men and boys. I think regardless of what Accrington throw at us tomorrow and as good as they are with their fitness and the desire that they've got, Rotherham start well, Rotherham get that first goal. I still think it'll be a heavy scoreline. Um, just because we've got goals, we've got quality, we've got goals all over the pitch. We've got Freddie Ladapo who sits on the bench nowadays and he's on whatever, 11 goals. Um, I'm not too worried who comes to the New York. We're very strong at home, we're very strong away. And I think as much as, like I said, Accrington have impressed me, I can, I can see us winning. Um, 4-1 maybe 
Yeah, and uh, looking at players this season, Michael Smith, I believe, on 16 goals for uh, Rotherham. Um, how have you found this season so far? My, uh, Michael Smith's season? Yeah. Unbelievable. Um, he's it, one of those players where it's not... I know some managers say when a, a striker's struggling for goals... Well, it's not it's not just his goals, what he brings, it's his all round play. In in Michael Smith's uh case, it really is the all round game that he brings. He's vital to how we play. Um you know, even when we are playing the football on the floor, which we can do as I mentioned earlier, for a big man his touch is fantastic. And he's not uh you know, he's not Losing the ball often when it goes into his feet. Obviously, in the air, he's chesting it down, he's, he's flicking it on, he's in the box, he's getting on the end of things. It's he's, he's just an absolute nuisance for defenders. I mean, they must go to bed thinking about him. He, he is a handful. And for me, yeah, okay, at times in other seasons gone by, some fans have become a bit frustrated at his lack of goals. But for me, his all-round play has always been appreciated by the majority of the fans. It's certainly been appreciated by Paul Warren and the players. And now he's added the goals as well. So I'm just surprised, but very grateful he's still with Rotherham. Um, if you ask me that question in six months, I don't think he will be at Rotherham. Yeah, and uh, we're going to ask some memory questions now, Kieran. Uh, firstly, the back-to-back -back promotions in 2013-14. Uh, what are your memories of them? And, of course, a victory over Leighton Orient at Wembley in 2014. Yeah, so 2014 under Steve Evans were uh, a fantastic year, a fantastic season, um, mostly. <laughs> what, what happened again is he built a squad. But what's different really is you can tell the players are doing it for the manager with this current squad. If you look back then, I think the players were almost us against them and them included Steve Evans. And maybe that was done on purpose um, by Steve Evans to form that sort of mentality. Um, we went away to places in 2014 where uh, we would go one or two goals down, but this fighting spirit, it was unbelievable. You would never, you know, at 2-0 down, I would know that we're not over. It's not over. And, um, you know, 1-0 uh, down at, at Carl Island till late in the day, and then we get a late goal and win it. Um, it's just times in that season, so many times we came back from losing positions um, and won the game. And when we got to the final at Wembley, we went 2 0 down at half time. For me, I knew it wasn't over. I knew. Um, and I think a lot of people felt the same that it wasn't over because we'd just seen it that many times that season. The fighting spirit, the us against them, the us against the world type of spirit the players had. Um, it was just unbelievable. And to then get the two goals, and take it to penalties. I'm surprised we didn't actually win it before penalties because, again, the players had it within them to do it. Um, and, yeah, obviously the scenes at the end um, when Adam Collins saved that penalty, it was just one hell of a magical day and something that will live long in the memory of every uh, Rotherham United fan and everyone connected with the club. And for me, you know... It was also a bonus and a joy to witness one of the best ever goals at Wembley in Alex Revel's finish. Yeah, absolutely. And then, of course, uh, the last six seasons now, providing you do go up this season, have involved a promotion or a relegation. Um, what's that right, like, really, as a Rotherham fan, though? I mean, it's never a boring season, really, for Rotherham, usually in a relegation battle or a promotion race. Uh, what's it like being a Rotherham fan? Does it always give you that excitement going into every season? Yeah, in a sense, yeah, but obviously we don't want no one wants to see the team relegated. Um, but yeah, it is. You know, I couldn't be a mid-table team 
constantly mid table for many many you know for season after season um which some teams are happy with but that's up to them um i think rotherham um certainly under paul warner too good for league one but not I wouldn't say not good enough for the championship. I think what happens in the championship is, for me, it's a mentality thing. Not just mentality, but I think it plays heavily. I think in League One, we're considered one of the big dogs, if you like. Although we don't get 23,000 supporters, we're still considered one of the big dogs in the league um, by most of the teams. Um, And I think that, brings about a mentality when we're going to games that other teams think, oh my God, we're playing Rotherham. Um, They'll be up there this season. And yeah, managers say it in the, in the interviews, when we go to the championship, we're one of the lower teams saying, oh my God, we're playing West Brom today. Uh, We're playing Norwich today. We're playing Middlesbrough today. And I think it's a mentality thing. And I think when you hear Paul Warren in his post, uh, in his interviews before games in the championship, you know, he talks about how much differences in wages on our ice, our ice player is, is on um, lower than their lowest paid player and things. And I think if that's translating into the players in the dressing room and installing a fear in these players, oh my God, we're playing against such and such who is on X amount a week. Oh my God then I think we've already got a fear before we step foot on pitch. And so if we do manage to go a goal up, it's, oh my God, we've gone 1-0 up against Norwich. Let's panic. And I think I've seen that over the last two or three seasons that we've been in the championship. Whereas I would like us to worry about us. I would like us to forget who we're playing and almost go out there with an ignorance and just play the way we're playing League One. And if we get beat 6-0, so be it. Because the end result playing how we have done in the recent seasons in the Championship is that we've gone down anyway. So go down with a bit of a blasé uh, attitude. Just I know it's difficult and maybe managers and chairmen are fearful of that because of the costs and the, the, the financial thing with the Championship. But I would really like us, if we go up this season, to to adopt a better attitude next season. Stop talking about how much the opposition players earn. Stop talking about the size of the opposition and start talking more about what we can do to them. Yeah, and also, uh, Kieran, I'm going to ask before I ask you about wherever you think Rotherham will finish, uh, which team, if you do say you mentioned the automatics, do you think will join you this season and going up in second spot or even maybe first? Which team do you think will... Uh, finishing that automatic spot yeah I think we'll be championship uh, champions um, I just think we've got the consistency and the squad depth um, and the fitness um, I think Wigan will the, be the ones who will come up with us um, I think Sunderland will do what Sunderland do which is buckle under the pressure um, I think that's that's sort of I talk about the fear for us in the championship being a uh, Endurance to us, and I think the pressure for Sunderland is that's you know that's the same. Um, and I think if you look at playoffs out of the teams that could potentially sneak in there and, and do it, I wouldn't write Ipswich off. Um, I wouldn't write Ipswich off, and I wouldn't, as much as it pains me to say it, I wouldn't write Sheffield Wednesday off getting into the playoffs. And um, maybe sneaking a little trip to Wembley, but I think we'll not really be bothered at that time because we'll be already in the championship with any luck. Yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, thank you very much. Anyway, Kieran, that's all we've got time for this evening on STW Sports. But yeah, thank you again for joining me and good luck to Rotherham United for the remainder of the season. Thank you. Take care.